Okay. See how loud the binder is from outside. Let the binder warm up this morning. I've changed. I've had a change of uh, plans. It's funny how I can talk myself in and out of things. I did. I found a nice route. We're going to do some things today. Got in the got in the bounder. I said that's it. I'm 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 gonna go fix this thing. The thoughts of uh, going through going out through the mountains and valleys, listening to this thing as, as loud as it gets. Couldn't do it. Old Betty the Bounder is gonna, that's it. It's gonna get a little bit of downtime. Not long. We're gonna fix her and get on with things. waste tank dumping today <sighs> off you go well now that the dirty business is out of the way it's nice to have both a black and gray tank all emptied they were due and the pull ahead up there is uh fresh water yeah it says this water here is not suitable for drinking it's probably the same water source but being in such close proximity there's that possibility of cross contamination thing. So we're gonna pull ahead up to the fresh water. My 100 gallons of fresh water is down to about 50 gallons. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. So we're filling the fresh water tank. Actually, I'm just gonna add some water. I'm not gonna fill the, the whole way up. Yeah, it's probably full enough. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Well, thank you, Washington State. That was very accommodating. Our beers out in the road can pull in a rest area and take care of their tanks and refill with fresh water. We're gonna go up to some friend's house. Now I'm gonna take care of Betty. I had some uh, I had some fun some things planned today I'd like to have done, but we'll have to do that later on. I gotta take care of that, Betty. I just can't take it. You know what's nice is driving down the road, and yes, I have you know, stickers on the RV, it says Dave's RV Life. So, you know, it advertises the channel. And I've got subscribers that way, certainly, some of you know that. And somebody drives by, and uh, they're beeping their horn. A nice couple just drove by. Yeah, I didn't have time to get the camera going. I'd like, I'd like to have caught that. But a nice couple drives by and they're beeping their horn and they're both waving. I know your subscribers. You got a comment down there who, who you are. Um, that's, I get a kick out of that. That's nice. I think we just uh, passed the exit to Olympia, Washington. I'm thinking, hey, that's where, uh, that's where Eric, uh, the man 
Fanatic Fanatic is from. Maybe we'll run into him. Um, now, I doubt he's in Olympia. Although, he's, I think he's in Washington somewhere. I've met Eric, I think, twice. Busy fella. He's a nice enough guy. Maybe we'll run into him again. At this point, it's gotten it's gotten embarrassing, embarrassingly loud. I feel sorry for the vehicle next to me when we're going up hills. It's one thing to have a bit of an exhaust leak, but I think those donut gaskets at this point are completely blown out. I'd be uh, kind of anxious to get it apart and see what's left of them. But I have the new ones to go back in, so uh, I hope it's the last thing to uh, fix this time. Okay, I got these new donut gaskets. Um, they're the, I know a couple of you have kind of looked, tried to look up a part number and find these, but um, they were kind of the wrong type. These have this metal ring where that metal ring fits up in the exhaust manifold. But thanks nonetheless for, uh, you know, taking the time to, 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 to try. <laughs> so, so I think it just totally blew them out completely at this point. Um, yeah, this, this side, this side, I don't know if you can see this stuff or not. But like all that's left of these are, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see this little, where is it? A little thing sticking out there. That's a little piece of, hang on. That's a little piece of wire mesh that's left. And on the other side, oops. And on the other side, you know, I don't know if you can see that wee little bit sticking out of there. That's like all that's left. The rest is all just blown out and gone. I don't I don't know what would cause those just to fail so so badly. We're gonna put another set in and maybe by some miracle they'll hold up better. Uh and here this other side, now this is crazy. I can see this one, what's left of that middle ring, actually sitting in there sideways. I mean, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna get it back apart and just see what the heck has happened. That's all spread. Those springs are like collapsed. Like, I just don't know what's happened there. You know, I'm so I'm finally getting around to the doing the deed here and um get that all apart and examine it and, and see what's see what's happening try to figure out what's causing that it all went together good when i did it nothing seemed out of alignment or you know tighten the bolts up equally so everything was square and uh and it was perfect it was it was just whisper quiet you know for about the first about 2,000 miles and then it started and now by 3,000 miles <laughs> they're just gone so we're gonna try this again hopefully it works out okay so that took all but about five minutes um the getting the part is uh was really easy but here's all that's left of the one on the passenger side there's no okay wait here's what they're supposed to look like okay that's what it's supposed to look like the metal ring and then that this gray this uh black area black shiny area is the graphite uh, with wire mesh in it and this was the one on the driver's side Okay, the metal ring and there's that wire mesh and there's this little section that had a little bit of gra the graphite left but 
it's basically, you know, I mean, it is pretty much just burned out the whole way around. I mean, nothing but the wire mesh left. All the graphite just blew out of it. Yeah, and then the passenger side, I mean, even, I mean, it's all gone. The wire mesh, everything, gone. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I get it figured out. I don't know. I just don't know. I must, I think I need to find a, ser a service manual on how to properly install these. I must have done something wrong here. Because when you put it together, there's three studs and springs and nuts for each side. So that's six total. All these springs are collapsed. They're all smashed down. Except for this one still has a little bit of spring left to it. But they weren't like that. They were all, you know, like that one only, you know, a little bit taller. They were, you know, the springs weren't all collapsed looking like that. Or they don't look like a bad shape. They're not all rusty and... You know, if, if those would have been in question, I would have bought, I would certainly wouldn't have had a problem buying all new ones, but they all looked, you know, good. Now they're all collapsed. So I must have done something wrong when I put it together. I am glad that I used the anti seize compound when I put it together. Um, it, it just, it came right apart real nice. So it looks like it's a trip to Napa or somewhere, at least to get a new set of springs. Uh, okay, here we are underneath. I got the new, uh, the brandy new donut gasket in there. I don't have the, uh, I'm waiting on uh, springs. I didn't have them. So this will just, uh, that's all. I said I got the pipe back up close enough. I'm just waiting on the new uh, springs. And then the nuts will go on and we'll just draw that pipe up there. And uh, those actually went in pretty nice. They went in better than the other ones for some reason. The other ones I actually had to uh, force it a little bit. Uh, it's maybe it's possible that I damaged, I somehow damaged the other ones, uh, having to force them. But these ones are just, I mean, just really nice. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. And there it is, and this is the other side, the passenger side. Where's that? Where's that? There it is. Brand new donut gasket. Just waiting for new springs and I'll tighten them up. And then the bonder will be quiet again. Yay. <laughs> I think while actually I'm waiting on them springs, they didn't have them. They're supposed to be in uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to do some other stuff. I'm going to uh, change the oil, I think. Uh, and uh, I have a grease gun. I'm probably going to go around and uh, grease the front suspension. That mm, might take care of it. That might take care of things from the front end for a while. There we are. Two new, two new spring kits. S includes studs, nuts, and springs. <laughs> Get that thing together yet. GPS so I can get back to where I need to go. I don't know where I'm going around here, so I do have it all back together. I think it's gonna be quiet again. Yeah. So there it is. New springs, new nuts, new gaskets. It better be quiet now. So I guess now all that's left to do is to start it up and listen to that whisper quiet engine. Man, that sounds so much better, huh? All right, we can live with that. <laughs> much better. So that's it, Betty's back to normal again. Uh, we're gonna get back out on the road here and uh, go and see and do some things here while we're here in Washington. I might take the motorcycle out and do some scouting around at some local things. Uh, not sure, not just sure what we're doing yet, but I can get past this. 
as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and until next time, take care.